Kristen Stover is your classic older sister, always looking for solutions to her younger sister's problems. But her sister, Amanda Werkel, has one problem Kristen can't fix, end-stage liver disease. What she can do is spread the word and search for her sister's unicorn, a living donor who could save her life. I got to sit down with Kristen and Amanda, and they told me about their unbreakable bond and Amanda's health journey. Hugs between Kristen and Amanda get tighter and tighter. Where Sar Star goes, little Amanda has always followed. How has the relationship with your sister kind of developed over the years? I have siblings and I know it's not always the same from year to year as you get older. So we've always been really close. Mm, how close? Like how close would you say you all are? We're very much a yin and a yang. So it's a really hard question to answer because I'm one part of the yin and she's the other part of the yang. And um, we really work well together, kind of almost opposites in some way. Tell but, her about um, the hospital, the coma. So, um, that's a good way to explain. yeah. So the day that she um, was admitted to the hospital, um, the minute I knew she was going to the hospital, I got in the car and my world stopped. I drove. Life for Amanda changed on January 25th of last year. Yes, I was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. Just days after being hospitalized and diagnosed with liver disease, Amanda went into a five-day coma. When her health failed, it was her big sister, Kristen, who she wanted by her side. Kristen did what big sisters do making the four hour drive from Maine to Connecticut. I tried about four or five times to get her on the room phone and finally she picked up and all I could hear was um, mumbling and then the nurse on the ba in the background got on the phone and she said, are you her sister? And I said, yes. She said, I think she wants you to come up. And I came up and she was going into full renal failure. Um, um, basically, every organ in her body was shutting down her, from her kidneys to her liver and her lungs. And um, through all of that, she was able to mumble, get my sister up here, essentially. And I was there. And at that moment, I just went into action and got the doctor and said, this is not working. We need to get her to um, to the ER. We need to get her in the ICU. We need to figure out what's going on. And uh, yeah. within five hours, she was transported to Yale in the ICU. Amanda was transferred from one hospital to another, eventually being admitted into the ICU. At that point, they had begun uh, putting her on a ventilator. They had discussed uh, starting dialysis, and they were coming up with a plan to save her life. And uh, yeah, so I think when we talk about the, the connection that we have, it's like I, you just when you have that connection with someone that you just know and love and you feel it, and when something's wrong, it's, it's, it's on the inside. You just know something is going on. And you move into action. Thank you. Wow. How is your health now? Because of my end-stage liver disease, my liver is damaged beyond repair. So I need a partial liver donation to repair the damaged part so that the whole liver can restore back to health and keep me healthy um, if I don't receive a partial living donation. My liver will begin to become impacted by the sick portion and I will continue to get sicker to the point of death. Um, my current life expectancy right now, based on what is called a MELD score, which is the health, overall health of your liver, um, my current life expectancy is between one to three years, and I've used one of those years already, so I'm fighting time. What was that like for you? It's terrifying. 
sorry. I think, I think people take for granted knowing that they'll be able to have kids or hoping to have kids going to their child or their niece or their nephew or loved ones, graduation, birthdays, holidays. Those are gifts for me. I don't take anything for granted anymore. I'm a little bit louder. He is. He is. Okay. Good. Right. Ready? Okay, this is for you, man. <laughs> uh, a year ago, when I was laying in that hospital bed, I said to myself, self. <laughs> If I make it out of this, somehow. Have you learned anything about yourself throughout all of this? And it just happened to come around. I have my days. I'm human, of course. But it's what you do at the end of the day and getting back up and getting back on your feet and getting back on the, in the fighting spirit to get what you need. Um, so definitely resilience. And I've learned... Um, Compassion. With big dreams and a pure belief, you couldn't see, I didn't have it in me. All the ways that you'll ever pray. It's heartbreaking to see your younger sibling and only sibling um, going through what she's going through and not being able to do anything, helpless. Um, you grasp at straws and you try everything possible. Um, I have gone through the donor um, pathway myself. But Kristen's underlying thyroid condition prevents her from being her sister's living liver donor. What was it like for you when you found out that you couldn't help your sister in that way? At first, you don't want to hear it. So you're like, yeah, I hear you saying that I can't move forward. What can I do to change that? You mentioned earlier on in the interview that this is not the life that you saw for her. What is the life that you see for her that you're still hoping that she's able to experience? She's too young to be going through this and, um, and it's so unfair and the sacrifices that come with it are so great that um, if it could all go away with one donation, um, who wouldn't wish for that? That's my wish. Every Christmas, every birthday, every candle I blow out, that's my wish. If you could say anything, anything at all, to someone who could be a match as your living liver donor, what would that be? I would say if we found my unicorn or my donor, um, that I know I haven't met you yet, but I love you. To be Amanda's unicorn, you have to be within the ages of 18 and 60 years old, in good health with no underlying health conditions, and comparable to her weight and height. If you would like to learn more about how you could help Amanda and others struggling with liver disease by donating a piece of your liver, we have that information available on our website and on the New Center Main app.